A clock tick. One second gone. It never changes its pace, steadfastly marching toward tomorrow. So why is it that January through about April, that second hand seems to slow down and time itself appears to move at a crawl? The gray skies, the snowy mornings, the fog that blankets the world as if the earth itself is in a state of hibernation. Tick tock. Winters are long, and nothing makes winters go faster than snowmobiles. <laughs> you know, it is amazing how much faster the clock ticks when you're having fun. Snowmobiling is one of the most effective ways to escape that winter funk. The Wasatch Front is nothing short of world class when it comes to sled territory, but in truth, there are places less well known where even in the harshest of conditions, the snowmobiling is head and shoulders above anywhere else on earth. We started today riding here in San Pete County, up Fairview Canyon on, along Highway 31, and we started snowmobiling out an area called North Skyline Drive. And North Skyline Drive actually extends from Fairview all the way to Highway 6 to a place called Tucker. I'm gonna say it in one phrase. It's the best snowmobiling in the U.S. That's why you come here. And you go on top of this mountain, and I've been on a lot of them in a lot of different states. There's no place that's as easy to, to get around, see the vistas, enjoy the country, and then find things to do that are more exciting. With a population just over 25,000, San Pete County, Utah is not going to win any awards for being the biggest, but when it comes to snowmobiling, they could win one for being the best. The San Pete Snowmobile Complex is extensive, with groomed systems up Fairview Canyon, Ephraim Canyon, Manti Canyon, Mayfield Canyon, and all along the Nebal Loop. We don't have as long and interconnected groomed trails as some other places are, you may want a tour for several days going from what place to place. Our groomed trails basically are access trails. They access the mountains, and that's where most of us ride. The mountains here in San Pete are quite unique. It's known as the Wasatch Plateau, which means that the top of the mountain is relatively flat or with rolling hills, and so it's a really good place. There's lots of open meadows, as well as some steep hills to climb, and so it has a, a large variety of places to snowmobile. Well, I've snowmobiled a lot of different places and I feel like this is the best place to snowmobile. You get away from the city, you get away from everything, no cell phone service, I and mean, you don't get bothered by anybody and we just enjoy being with the family and enjoying a good time. Towns all up and down Highway 89 from Fairview in the north, Ephraim about 20 miles to the south, and Manti just 10 minutes further than that, all act as the starting point and base camp for sledheads. Hotels and restaurants make for a warm and inviting end to an intense day of snowmobiling, either on the trails or up top on the Skyline Drive. The rounded peaks are also perfect for other snow sports, and their windswept fame has spread to the snow kiting community, who share the mountain with the track and tread set. Locals like Kevin Christensen with San Pete County Travel, or Glenn Zumwalt, president of Big Pine Sports in Fairview, know better than anyone how the unique environment and snow conditions of their hometowns come together to create a recreation combination that is anything but boring. We're spoiled. <laughs> That's the real answer. I hear all the time from local snowmobilers, oh, the snow isn't as good as it should be, or, the, or I wish I could just do it out of my backyard. Well, we, we are doing it out of our backyard. This area is very snowmobile friendly. We get lots of snow, it's very high altitude. The tops of the mountain are between 10 and 11,000 feet, depending on where you are snowmobiling, but it's, it's a really diverse place to snowmobile. Parking lots up each of the canyon act as the main staging area for riders. Most of them head straight out into the open country, with the Mount Nebo Loop allowing for extensive groomed trail rides, along with some powder fun if you want to break trail. Now that old clock will continue to tick away during the winter, whether you want it to or not. And while you may wish time would go faster so you can bask in the warmer months, once you get on a snowmobile in the San Pete complex, you'll want the clock to go as slow as possible. How many people do you know that just 
oh, winter's it's cold. I, I wish it would warm up. Uh, the snow, I'm tired of shoveling. That doesn't happen if you're a snow river. You got something to do. You got an activity you look forward to. And when you come home, you talk about it. <laughs> so it's, it's an activity that, that is exciting and enjoyable. From the snowmobile terrain of the West, I'm Terry Wood.